Hello children. In this lesson we are going to learn more about tax. In our last lesson we learned what is tax and how is it calculated. You went to buy a sweater, you as a buyer pay thousand rupees to the seller, this person and he gives you the sweater and the shopkeeper pays some amount of money to government in form of tax in this particular case sales tax so this is the way government earns money and uses it to build different things like roads trains airports schools hospitals etc so this is what we have learned in our last lesson now let's say you are selling something you grow up you run your own restaurant you start your own manufacturing facility you build cars you need to calculate your selling price. How do you do it? You may think, oh, I know it's pretty simple. Whatever is my cost price plus some profit is going to be selling price, right? But you have to be a little bit more cautious. Let's say, let's take this sweater example again. You estimate your cost price, say 800 rupees is your purchase price, right? Always remember, it's not just the purchase price which you pay to the suppliers of this sweater. But there may be some overhead also. You may be paying some money for transportation. Some of the sweaters might get wasted also. They were not good. Right? So your real cost price might be a little higher. You calculate your own profit, how much you are going to earn from in on each sweater. And that price, actually you should 800 plus 150 rupees, assuming this 800 rupees is your entire purchase price plus overhead. You calculate your profit margin is 150 rupees say for example you say oh it will be 950 rupees is I'm going to sell not really you should sell on 950 rupees plus add the value added tax the sales tax on top of it like we took the example of 5% of the tax so 5% of 950 was coming at to be 47.5 rupees we, we learned this thing in our last video right so your real selling price will be to the customer would be 950 plus 47.5 which is 997.5 rupees let's say you are not careful so now you have grown up you have become a seller yourself you got sweater from 800 rupees from the supplier from the factory but you forgot to add the overheads how much you are going to pay to the lorry to get all those sweaters from the factory to your shop there was some wastage also you forgot to add all of these things you just thought oh 800 rupees is my purchase price and you say okay i am going to earn 197.5 rupees as the profit in each of the sweater i sell so this is cost price you calculate you calculate profit margin what your profit is but you forgot to include tax and you said okay i am going to sell at 800 plus 197.5 that is 997.5 rupees Cost price plus profit is equal to selling price. Nothing wrong in that. But you forgot two important things. You forgot to add the overheads like transportation cost or wastage when you calculate the cost price. And when you calculate the final selling price, you forgot to add the tax, the sales tax. So you said decided to sell at 997.5 rupees thinking on every sweater you are going to make 197.5 rupees. Nothing wrong. But two red items you remember, you forgot to add into it. So as a result of that, what happens? When you got the sweaters from the factory, it took 50 rupees approximately in the transportation cost per sweater plus some packaging cost. You say you wrapped in the plastic wrap and put a small box so that it looks nice. Right? So 50 rupees per sweater went into transportation cost on top of the 800 rupees which you paid to the supplier. So your actual cost price was not 800 rupees which you paid to the supplier, but a common overhead cost like transportation packaging also went in it. So your real cost price was 800 plus 50 rupees, which is 850 rupees. And you decided to sell at 997.5 rupees, which is fine. But of that, as we calculated in our last video, 47.5 rupees you have to pay as VAT to the government. 5% of 950 rupees, right? Because what you are showing is 950 rupees is my selling price plus 47.5 rupees is the tax 
the end user price was for 950 plus 47.5 which is 997.5 but remember this 47.5 is not coming to you you take from customer 997.5 but you as shopkeeper is giving 47.5 rupees as value added tax or sales tax to the government so your real selling price what you actually get after paying to the government is 997.5 minus 47.5 that is 950 rupees only right so your real profit or the actual profit is not 997.5 rupees minus 800 it is actually 950 rupees minus 850 rupees which is 100 rupees only oops you were thinking I'm going to make 197.5 rupees per sweater but actually at the end of the month you realized you are only making 100 rupees per sweater still a profit but less than what you estimated so all your calculations went wrong how much material to buy etc and where that mistake happened your cost price you thought is just 800 rupees but you forgot the common overhead cost like transportation and packaging so your real cost price bumped up from increased from 800 to 850 rupees also you didn't include 47.5 rupees which was supposed to be paid to the government you thought entire 997.5 rupees is coming to you but you only get 47.997.5 minus 47.5 that is 950 rupees only this goes to the government so 47.5 rupees mistake here and 50 rupees in this common overhead cost 50 plus 47.5 97.5 rupees calculation mistake you did so your profit sort of what you estimated was 197.5 is actually only 100 rupees so you have to be very cautious when you sit with your parents if they are selling something help them out if they don't understand in terms of what should be the real cost price ensure you take care of all these things like transportation packaging electricity cost etc same way how much has to be paid to the government that way you can calculate the actual profit and that way you can price your article appropriately say you really wanted to get a profit of 197.5 rupees you could have changed your selling price to something higher value or your cost price you, you could have negotiated with supplier and got at a lesser price what you have to pay to government is a percentage if you say my price of my sweater is going to be 1000 rupees you have to pay 5% of 1000 rupees right if you say your sweater is 1100 rupees you have to pay 5% of 1100 so that is a percentage but other things are under your control what should be your real cost price and what should be your selling price so when you do business or you help your parents in their existing business keep just don't use the simple formula of selling price minus cost price when arriving at profit it's a right formula but arrive at your selling price correctly including the taxes and cost price correctly including not just the purchase price but also overhead costs so that's all in this video children Bye-bye.